Hi, guys. We hope you had a wonderful new year. Before we bring you our first story of 2022, it's time for a big BKFK birthday shout out to Lucas. Happy birthday. And we'd also like to give a massive rocking and rolling BKFK shout out to two of our patrons from Windsor, Wisconsin. Danny and Sam. And hello from me too, Dan, Ruby's dad. Guess what we've spent this holiday doing? Finding and writing stories for you guys. This is going to be a great year. You can expect a new story from us every two weeks. And maybe with enough support from our Patreon community, a new story every week. <laughs> now that would be cool. In this week's story, we are joined by... My name is Diva Shirasta. I am nine years old. I really love to craft, make up new stories, write new stories, tell new stories. Hello, my name is Mira. I'm six years old. I live in New Jersey. My favorite thing is to play with my sister. You guys did a great job. Now let's get on with the story. Monkey Hats Once upon a time, there was a very talented hat maker. He made all kinds of hats. He would travel from village to village with his wagon full of hats, shouting, Hats, hats for sale. Small hats. Huge hats. Smart hats. Silly hats. Multicolored hats. Clown hats. Cowboy hats, roller hats, cats, top hats, and every kind of hat imaginable. He made a good living. He enjoyed his work. He loved the thrill of entering a new village and hearing the delight of his happy customers. He also enjoyed the time in between villages when he peacefully sat on his wagon as his horse led him to the next market. One hot summer's day, he settled down for a nap under a large mango tree. He lay in the cool shade and fell asleep to the contented sounds of his horse munching grass. When he woke up, he stretched, harnessed his horse to the wagon and was just about to set off when he had the strange feeling that something was wrong. He turned around to look in the back of his wagon and let out a cry. My hats! He wailed. They're all gone. He then heard a loud noise above him. He looked up and saw a large troop of monkeys looking down on him. And each of them was wearing one of his hats. You rascals! He cried as they hooted and leapt from branch to branch. He shook his fist at them. They shook their fists back at him. He made faces at them. And they made the same faces back at him. He yelled at them. Monkey! And they yelled at him. He threw a stone at them. And they threw dozens of rotten mangoes back at him. Frustrated and covered with stinky mango juice, he threw down his hat in despair. To his surprise, they copied him and they threw their hats down too. Quickly, he seized the opportunity and gathered all of the hats. He hurriedly packed them into his wagon and set off as fast as his horse could take them. He soon arrived at the next market and sold his hats 
to more delighted customers. Many years passed. He had a son who took great delight in hearing the story about the robber monkeys. Once upon a time, I woke up to discover my hats had all been stolen. And every time he reached the end of the story, then I threw down my hat and all of the silly monkeys threw down their hats too. The son would burst out in laughter and beg his father to tell his story again and again and again. Eventually, the hat seller grew old and his son took over his business. He made hats that were just as good as his father's. In fact, they were even better. Hats! Hats for sale! Buy a new hat! Upside down hats! Inside out hats! Hats that blow bubbles! <laughs> The crowds would roar with laughter and everyone would walk away happy with their purchase. Just like his dad, he enjoyed the in-between journey too. The peace and quiet as he travelled to the next village. One day, he too settled underneath a mango tree for a nap. He freed his horse for a snack of grass and made himself comfortable in the shade. It was a hot summer's day. He put on his cool-me-down hat, which was a hat that was covered with small fans. When he clicked a button on top, the fans would blow a gentle breeze in his face. He happily sighed and soon was peacefully snoring under the tree. When he woke, he reached for the button on top of his hat to turn the fans off. But all he felt was his own head. The hat was gone. He stood up at once and ran to the wagon. It was empty. Oh, no! He cried. He looked up the tree, knowing exactly what to expect. There on the branches were dozens of monkeys leaping from branch to branch and merrily hooting down at him. The hat maker's son looked up at them and said, Hello, monkeys! They hooted back at him. I know the story! He called out, He waved at them. They waved back. He put his thumb on his nose and wiggled his fingers. They did the same back. He stuck out his tongue at them. They stuck out their tongue at him. He laughed and took off his hat and threw it down to the ground. And the monkeys did nothing. Oh, come on! He shouted, Copy me! Throw down your hat! Nothing happened. He picked up his hat and put it on, and then slowly threw it down again. Again, nothing happened. He tried this again and again and again and again, until eventually the biggest monkey, which was wearing one of his silliest hats with peacock feathers sticking up in all directions, flopped off a branch and lazily walked up to him. It pointed one of its leathery fingers at the hat maker's son and said, You think you're so clever. Because you learned from your father's stories while well, our father told us stories too. And today we're keeping the hats. <laughs>
and off they went, hooting with laughter while the hat maker's son just scratched his head. And that is why it's very important to listen to stories just like this story because you never know what you might learn and when it might come in handy. Hey guys, if you like this episode, please share it with your friends and family. It is one of the best ways to support BKFK Storytime.